Hi everybody, welcome. Today is sunny, look. Beautiful day, meaning we can actually do our planter, which we've been meaning to try and do for two weeks, I think, now. So let me just show it to you. So this is what we're going to be turning into our planter, which should hold roughly about 50 plants. <clears throat> it's also going to have a wormery in the centre. And the reason being is, you can probably see over here, we planted these out a couple of weeks ago. And we have all of these plants to go. But we have got quite a small garden. This is a water bath. We've still got to place it yet. This is where girls usually play. Um, but again, not a big space. And they've got a tree house here. And then we've got this area. Then we do have um, a front garden. So we have quite an even split between sun between front and back garden, which is pretty cool. So we're just walking out towards the front now. And here we go. Front, and this is where we've got a bit of growing area, quite a bit of growing area here. So we've got some sweet potatoes that we planted two weeks ago in here. Um, there's some lavender plants, a rhododendron. We've got a couple of pots here which we're still determining what we're going to do with. And then up here, I'm very excited because you can see I've got some little seedlings. So these are a beetroot, those I planted two weeks ago as well. In this one I've got carrots, but the seeds haven't started coming up just yet, so give that one time. Um, and this is normally where we park our car, but the sun only stays out here for a short period of time. So I do have some herbs here on the front, so that's marjoram, uh, bay leaf in here. I've got some thyme. This is like a couple of years old, so it's just starting to regrow. And I have a different thyme in this one. Again, that one's doing the same. That one's starting to regrow as well. Then we do have this little area, but this bit here doesn't really get a lot of sun. So we're going to try and work out what we're doing with this. This or this area over here was also really overgrown before we started working on it. And it always had a lot of pots and stuff here left from the previous owners and we haven't really done a lot with it. You know, we've lived here for three years, I think now. So yeah, not really done a lot with it. And now we've changed our lifestyle. We really want to make sure that we're incorporating by growing our own food. The girls are getting involved in that. I'm really excited about that. I'm chuffed a bit about the little seedlings. They are super cute. So yeah, I'm just waiting. Because as you can see, driveway is empty. I'm waiting for my tribe to come back with all the materials <laughs> and well might as well wait in the sun so we are just um sorting out the plant a bit the girls are having a snack <clears throat> and we have just put the water butt in <laughs> already put stuff on top of it but here we go so you can see that we've had to do a little bit of a makeshift thing here but We've now got our water butt in place. We have been collecting the water for a few weeks. Oh, I've got too much stuff on there. Um, <clears throat> just by keeping the lid off. So we've got a little bit of a start, but this is going to be much better. Hi. Hi, Grace. <clears throat> you want to say hi? This is Alina and Soraya and Rue. Right, let's go and find out how Mark's getting on. <clears throat> So, this is a barrel. Yes, darling. Oh, Grace. Hang on a second. So, crisis is now averted. <laughs> Back to the barrel. This is a barrel. So, what have you done here? So, going across the barrel, finding the centre of the barrel. Yep. Either way, going across the nice square to find the centre, as you can see. Yep. Okay. From that, you can either measure from the centre of your cut out. Yeah. Or, as I find it a lot easier to do, is make an indent with a bit of cardboard. Okay. Either you can use the cut out or you can use the template. I use the template, put it on the side. Oh, sorry, son. Yeah. Measure it across. Found 5 centimetres by 5 centimetres. Yeah. Depending on what size pipe you use. Okay. Uh, from that, I put a circle inside of it. All you could do is from edge to edge. Flat really is a lot easier. Ten centimeters. Mark five. 
And here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Five to five. So, why are you finding the centre point? Centre point. Otherwise, you'll probably be out. So, there we are. No, no, no. What are you going to do with the centre point? I'm going to do the centre point. Centre point is going to be for the cutout. So, there we are. The five line. So, you have to start off in the centre to then be able to cut this bit out. Yes? Five line. There's your centre point. From that. You can find your centre point. What you could do is draw the centre point out so you've got a hole. Yeah. And then you can put your screw in the middle of it. Okay. Third. And then you can draw on the outside of it. My centre point's there. So okay, pretty cool. There, then you've got a template. Right, and what's going in here? <coughs> in there we've got the, the pipe. Okay. 10 millimetre pipe that we've bought. So 110 millimetre pipe. Obviously not that length, it's going to be cut down which you'll see later on in the video. And what's the pipe for? The pipe is for uh, adding uh, holes into it so it'll be corrugated. Uh, so we have lots of holes drilled into it to allow the worms to flow in and out of it, eating out the scraps of food that we put inside of it. So it's a so compost bin. It's a compost feeder bin. Awesome. So, so wormery. So yeah, a wormery. <coughs> Very cool. Thank you. Let's get on. I hope so. slight adjustment uh, so that it would fit through properly. Now we're going to mark out uh, some, we're going to mark out all the areas where the slots are going to go for the planting and crack on with the next bit. So what have we done, Trace? Oh, <laughs> so these are going to be staggered. So every other row is going to be staggered. So first of all, we've done one row one, three, and five. Marked out where we're going to be drilling first of all, and then how long we're going to make each pocket. Then the next one, we'll be starting from here and going along the same type of thing. I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, so we've now finished marking out all the parts. It's a bit hard to see now because it's so sunny. Girls are back from the park. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to find out whether we can do anything with the top to make it a bit more sturdy or if it's going to be okay. <laughs> slots now cut ready for the pockets we've got some wood to help prise open so we can make the pockets and we've got a heat tool although Mark's not convinced that this is going to be strong enough so yeah, we're gonna have to see we've got all our holes done it's like really sunny out here now so I'm having to try and uh, do this in the right place but that's what it looks like inside pretty cool we are going to need to file off some of the places like this bit here that's like super sharp so we need to do that and do the wormery okay so what have you done here so here we've got the wormery part yep minus the holes at the moment that's to come okay this bit here is actually out as a seal between these two bits yep unfortunately we've bought the wrong bit and we've just tried to make it up <laughs> Bit of screws off. Yeah. Okay, so this is so just to explain then, this is the bottom of the barrel. So this is going to be underneath the bottom of the barrel. So we've got we've made a little funny sort of seal. Yeah. The sides which will be covered in silicone. Mm-hmm. And also silicone this gap as well. Yeah. So that would be the underside and the blue bottom of the barrel bit will sit around here. 
Yep. And this one will be inside the barrel, and yep. that will fit against the bottom half. So okay. the blue band. Effectively sealing it in. Sealing it in. Okay, cool. Because you know, you're not going to get a perfect round here. There's going to be gaps. Yeah. So with that around it, like so, it'll make a bit much better gap around it. Okay, cool. Awesome. At the moment, we have siliconed the bottom, and Mark has arranged the matrix to ensure that the pipe stays central so that it's then flush well as flush as it can be but can you see that there's like these ridges at the bottom that makes it a little bit more difficult sorry I was covering the sound piece yeah that does make it a little bit more difficult so yeah now we just got to wait for it to dry good morning so we're on the next day we are not going to be doing the planter or finishing it just yet and I'm going to show you Oh, come here then because it's pirate fest in Brixham today so we've got pirates Yeah, can you say Arr. Arr. <laughs> Um, So yeah, taking all the children to pirate fest first of all and then we'll be coming back and finishing it off later on Hey everybody, say hi. Hi. So we're, we're at the Pirate Festival and guess what? We're having strawberries and a picnic at the beach. Just a little bit excited. So we are currently <laughs> at um, Brixton Beach. Do you want to say hi, Grace? <laughs> um, just enjoying the weather. <laughs> just enjoying the weather. We're enjoying enjoying the time together because it's family game day because yeah it is it's really nice to spend some time together and it's such a beautiful view i'm going to turn the camera around so you can see so this is currently where we're at that's breakwater like we are so lucky that we've literally got this right on our doorstep so yeah, so that's where we're at and we will be going back home later on to do the planter. So it's the end of the day and <laughs> our planter hasn't been done. But that's because usually our children do come first. And we've got all of this stuff out here late at night because we've been at Pirate Fest all day. And then this is what we've done. Hmm. I wonder who we will find in here. Who's in here? Oh, they can't see, it's too dark. Hang on. Yeah, it's not it's not able to focus on you. I think that's because of the <laughs> the twinkly lights. But <clears throat> this is where the girls are sleeping for the night. And guess who's gonna be sleeping just here? So yeah, so I get to sleep <laughs> in that little space in there. Go on then, Grace, what do you want to say? Everyone, down and sleepy pussy bed. Mom's sleeping in. Yes, it's the so I'll be sleeping in with mm. Neve and Grace. So. Mm. Hello. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we ended up doing instead of the planter. So, planter will be tomorrow then. No, I am, so now you can say what you've done. Hi. Um, we've done a lot, it's been a bank holiday. <laughs> mean to the planter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, so, um, I can't remember how far we got to last time. Uh, so, <clears> we've now siliconed this and secured it. We've got to take the supports off. You've drilled holes in the bottom so that the water can come out. We'll collate the water underneath yep. to recycle it. We we've the... also upcycled, what's that called? It's a trolley base. A trolley base so it's on wheels so we can literally turn the planter around but also so it's um, lifted it off the ground so that we can re recycle the water as well. Keep away from slugs and bugs. Huh? Keep away from slugs. Well yeah now do. Um, so what are we going to do now? Now we're going to fill it. Awesome. Fill it full of compost and stuff. Brilliant cool okay let's do See it. You next time. Yay so we finished the planter last night. <laughs> Well, pretty much. There's a couple of more things that we need to do. We need a bit more soil for the top. And we need the connector pipe for the um, top to go on here. I do think we're going to cut this down just a little bit more for easy access for putting everything in. But 
the plants that we did have are pretty much all in here. So we've got a lot of different lettuces. And then we've got red pepper, courgette. We've got different types of tomato in here. We've also got some squash. They're the ones at the top. Um, and then pretty much around the bottom we've got lettuces, but I've still got some. <laughs> That's the girls running around. <laughs> um, <clears throat> still got some room. So really, really chuffed a bit with our planter. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just hurt herself. <clears throat> um, so yeah, really chuffed a bit. So we did work out that all the materials um, cost us £27. Now, you can buy like a proper one of these and it's something like £300. Um, so this is pretty good. I mean, it fits 50 plants. You can fit in like five plants in the top and then we've got 45 pockets all around. But yeah, chuffed to bits with it, really. Yes, baby? Yeah. That's Soraya. What do you think all about the plants? You come to look at the plants? <laughs> yeah? <clears throat> so yeah you can see you've got more tomatoes here yeah can't wait to update you later on on how it's doing but there we go there is one diy planter